Hey again, gang. What's up? Welcome to my channel if you've never been here before, and welcome back if you have. Today is another full day of eating. I know a lot of people love to see these, so why not? And today's a bit of an interesting one. I have a hugely busy week coming up with a lot of plans, which means I haven't been grocery shopping a lot because when that happens, I tend to eat out way more. I will be posting a video on how to eat out healthy and my tips and tricks, but also treating yourself and making it feel like you're having a treat. Nobody wants to go to a fun restaurant with fun burgers and fries and things and eat a salad. I mean, yeah, some people do and no problems whatsoever, but I like to treat myself, but I like the happy medium where I feel as though I'm having such a cheat meal, yet my body is gonna take that a little bit healthier. So, I have no groceries. I'm not even kidding. Look at the fridge. Oh, P.S check out this water bottle it's like half the size of my body this thing will make sure i am drinking a gallon of water anyway half your body weight in filtered ounces see check it out i got a little bit of cream cheese a little bit of yogurt both dairy free what am i going to do with those whole bunch of condiments whole bunch of water and some cashew milk this is ridiculous so we're gonna use my pantry we're gonna see what's in here the ice cream there not mine this one's mine this stuff is delicious it's not dairy free but neither is my entire life um, this stuff delicious that might be what I'm having for dinner but I don't know man no I'm gonna starve this is just gonna be fun it'll be interesting we're gonna start with some oatmeal, I think, because I've got a lot of dry goods still. Oatmeal, boom. We're also gonna use some of this powdered almond butter. Delicious. We've got some nuts that can go in there. This is a grain-free granola, actually. It's called ungranola. I will post below a video of the recipe of this. It got a little burnt, excuse, but still delicious. You don't have to burn yours. Recipe linked below. Uh, Grain-free, awesome. We'll see what else I put in there as we go, but let's start the oatmeal. I have noticed some conundrums online with how to cook oatmeal in a way that makes it creamy and delicious. I am putting a half cup of rolled oats. Mine are Bob's Red Mill wheat-free certified rolled oats. And then you're gonna put a whole cup of liquid to the half cup of oats. I'm gonna use half cashew milk and half water. Actually, a little bit less water than cashew milk. I find it's just best that way. Yeah, that much water is good. Okay, now I'm gonna put this on high, let it come to a boil, turn it down to low, and then just continuously stir. I am going to put half a scoop of vegan coconut protein in there. You can't see the protein container for this, ah, but this is also a good one. Vegan Proteins Plus, it includes greens, non-GMO, natural and clean, 100% vegan, gluten-free, it's great. The only thing is it has pea protein, which can be danger for some people, can cause a lot of bloating. You know, you don't wanna be farting all day, just saying. Because I find a whole scoop to be slightly overwhelming, I'm gonna put half a scoop. You can put this in after it's cooked and stir it, but I just find it mixes better. And then, hi. Hi, here we go. Also, side note, you can crack an egg uh, when it's a little bit more warm than this, like I just turned the burner on right now, but you can crack an egg, alternatively to the protein, into the pot as the oatmeal is cooking and it will completely disappear into the oatmeal. It's an awesome little hack. Tons of good fats, healthy protein. The protein scoop is 20 grams, so half of that is gonna be 10 grams. One egg is only six grams. Obviously, judging by the state of my fridge, I have no eggs, so protein powder it is. Okay, so you can see how it's starting to boil. You don't wanna let it get all the way to super boiling because then it's gonna overflow into a foamy, bubbly mess. So I'm gonna try to stop it in a minute. All right, yeah, so this is the amount of boiling where you wanna catch it, where it's just starting to bubble up. And now I'm going to turn it to 
low and looks like I got it in time. It's not gonna make a mess for me. Hopefully, every now and then, I'm gonna stir this up. I have heard a rumor that you can put a wooden spoon over a boiling pot and it won't boil over. Does anyone know the truth of that? Cause I don't know. Not sure if it matters what you have boiling, but anyway, now while this is cooking up a bit and thickening, I'm gonna prepare the powdered peanut butter. You know what, let's use two tablespoons. And then what you do is mix some water into there, mix it up. It is best to use full fat nut butter because then you get the fats. This is great if you're tracking macros, you don't have enough fats to fit in. This will still give you the peanut butter kind of experience without the fats, it still has five grams of protein per two tablespoons and only 50 calories. But the fats here say 2.0 grams. So if we look at this, yeah, for two tablespoons, it's 210 calories, but the fats are 18 grams and you're getting six grams of protein. So, you know, I, I think it's healthier to have the healthy fats. This was given to me and I'm just in the mood. Show you how to use powdered peanut butter, I guess. It's great for smoothies and such. Also, you can throw this in your oatmeal if you want. I just don't feel like chocolate. Cacao nibs, oatmeal is awesome for whatever. So this is what this looks like now. Perfection, it's thickening up really nice. Whoa, foggy, foggy. It's thickening up really nicely. Thickening, difficult to say. Papa yeah! Bananas, cancel a poops, champagne a man juice. What the? For the powdered peanut butter, I just keep adding little bits of water until it becomes the consistency that I like. So you kind of mix forever and ever and ever until it becomes thick enough. Also, with the oatmeal, I do have in my freezer a bag of oh, mixed fruit. I'm gonna put some of that into the oatmeal but at this point. You don't wanna put it too early because then the fruit gets all mushy and not my jam. Okay, that's the end of the bag. Anyway, normally I put about a quarter cup to a half cup of berries. I'm gonna stir this in. And you also want to give the oats a chance to moisten and get soft before you throw frozen berries in there. How long, please? Because it can screw with your cooking process. Just one, give me a time! Oh, my mouth is watering already. That looks amazing. These are what I like to use in my oatmeal. Cumin has awesome fat burning benefits. There were studies done where those who added about a teaspoon to three teaspoons of cumin per day in their diet lost more fat than others. Ground nutmeg and cinnamon. Oh my gosh, if you have never tried everything but the bagel seasoning, I'm telling you, I get it from Winners or Home Sense. I haven't even looked in a real store for it, but oh my gosh, check that out. That is so good on avocado toast or eggs. Literally, I put it on almost everything except for oatmeal, of course. So I'm going to add the spices to the oatmeal while this is finishing up. So nutmeg, cumin, hard to get out of here. It really like sticks to itself. Ah! I don't measure, obviously. And then we have cinnamon. I'm not a huge fan of cinnamon, so I don't like to put a ton of it. There we go. Okay, this looks donezo, my friends. Oatmeal is in the bowl. Now we're gonna go in with the ungranola. I'm not trying to measure this. I just used it for the powdered peanut butter, which you don't even need to measure either. Two tablespoons, that'll be good. I'm actually gonna mix that right in. I ballparked this at around 400 calories-ish. I don't track macros or calories right now because I am on the other side of an eating disorder, so I don't really wanna do that right yet. I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm just trying to eat healthy, maintain my healthy weight. But I know that there are fats. I know that there's protein. I know that there are healthy carbs in here. I know that it is gluten free. And we're gonna go in with the peanut butter now. Okay, see, I do understand that this looks like a complete disgusting bowl of vomit. That's gross. But it tastes delicious and this will keep me full for up to six hours. That being said, it is very important to make sure you are eating consistently throughout the day. I do practice intermittent fasting. I do a high intensity interval training, fasted cardio every morning. So I don't really eat until, what is it right now, about 11.30. I don't really eat until around 11.30. Usually breakfast, 
but you should be eating at evenly spaced meal times throughout the day. So every four hours is ideal. I wouldn't stretch it longer than four hours. And if you are not practicing intermittent fasting, please try to eat within 1.5 hours of waking up in the morning. So that's like a rule of thumb. That being said, listen to your body. If it's not wanting food, that's okay. Normally, if a body is resetting and it doesn't want any food in the morning at all, if you're not doing intermittent fasting and you don't really have an active lifestyle, that usually means that your basal metabolic rate is low, very low slash turned off. So that means the rate at which your body is burning calories when you're at rest. So if you want to talk to me about resetting hormones, resetting your body, resetting your metabolism, please do comment below or send me a message and I would be happy to help you out with that. Also, my website down below in the description box and the rest of my social media. Later. And I'm back. So I had that around 11.30. It is now 3.30 p.m. and I am hungry. So that did last me quite a while. Now, Whitney Simmons, her channel is linked below. You've probably heard of her if you've been online in the fitness world at all. Uh, she taught me this handy little recipe if you only have pantry items. A few items are from the fridge, but regardless, it's going to sound disgusting. It's gonna sound gross, but it's all right, and it gets me through, because who knows what dinner's gonna be, maybe cauliflower pizza, but anyway, I am mixing brown rice with canned tuna. The canned tuna you mix in a bowl with what Whitney says is a little bit of mayo, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of relish. I know, it sounds gross. And then you put it into your rice, your cooked rice. So I have rice cooked in there with a big glop, dollop, what did you call it, of butter. So I'm gonna cook up that rice, mix it with this tuna, and then Whitney usually puts chopped cucumbers, maybe cherry tomatoes in there. I obviously have none of the sort. So I'm gonna go plain Jane on this, and this is gonna be my sort of mid-afternoon pre-dinner meal. I thought it would also be important to show you a couple of the other options that I could have done. I have the cashew milk, so I would use one scoop of protein powder, some stevia, some cacao powder, greens, because obviously I'm out of fresh veggies. This is fiber. I would throw that in the blender. I also, Still had some frozen bananas. I always, always keep frozen bananas in the freezer. Uh, because of that, the cashew milk blended up. That's what I would have done. So anyway, about this, I put a little bit of mustard, a little bit of relish, some salt, pepper, and then everything but the bagel seasoning because I'm missing the cucumber and cherry tomatoes or whatever. I'll put a picture of Whitney's here. Obviously hers looks lovely. Brown rice is cooking. Another option I had was, I have this delightfully healthy organic field blend heirloom tomato marinara pasta sauce. Delicious. And then some of my favorite pantry pasta. Let's look at some of my pantry items. Okay, this is delicious. Spirals with butter and Parmesan. Oh my Lord, I forgot that was in there. Could have that for dinner. That is not dairy free. By the way, if you're a Nutella lover, yum, very healthy for you. I always, always have soups on hand, organic soups of various, various kinds. Oh yeah, refried beans. I could have had that in rice and here I am doing this crazy tuna thing, whatever. These are my favorite wraps, turmeric coconut wraps. They are awesome for you. The ingredients on this bad boy, coconut meat, coconut water, unrefined virgin coconut oil, and turmeric. That's it. Super healthy. All right, as for the pastas. Oh yeah, gluten-free pancake mix, haven't tried it. This is my favorite gluten-free pancake and baking mix. This makes awesome crepes. Pamela's, such a good go-to. I got some rice wrappers, some bread crumbs. Okay, where's my pasta? I know that there's a bunch of pasta in here. It's not hard to tell, I love pasta. So this Tinkiata Pasta Joy brown rice pasta, little bunny on the package, that's how I always remember it, the purple one with the rabbit. This and Go Go Quinoa, swear you can trick anybody that isn't all down with the gluten free, they won't know the difference, they won't know. These ones are organic sweet potato and buckwheat noodles. I haven't tried this yet, looks delicious though, so I may have that. 
Zeroodles Organic Black Bean Fettuccine. This is great, but it does tend to bloat me a bit. Other brown rice pasta, gluten-free traditional egg pasta. This is so flippin' good. And then we've got rice noodles. So, I obviously love pasta. Another favorite pantry staple is this Amy's pea soup, my lord. Anyway, back to the task at hand. Oh, and I always have a big basket full of everything that I can use to bake. Healthy, gluten-free cookies and whatnot. All the different flours, some coconut, some pumpkin seeds, some yeast if I feel like making gluten-free bread. Yeah, always have bacon stuff on hand because you never know when the cravings will get you. And dried fruit, good for oatmeal and good for all those random baking stuff. And I have linked below for you some awesome no-bake breakfast cookies that I made with oats and that box of random pantry things. So check out that recipe. It's fast, easy, delicious, and totally healthy. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you, but this looks gross. It definitely needs the cucumber like Whitney's had. But anyway, it actually tastes tastes really good. So I'm going to eat this. Tons of protein. There's a whole can of tuna in there. Tons of healthy fats with the mayo. It's going to be all right. I am back with a little update for you on that tuna dish. Whitney, you know what you're talking about. It never would strike me to get a can of tuna, mix it with a little bit of delicious you know, condiments and spices, and then mix it with brown rice cooked in butter, but no veggies in it, which mm, that's kind of not so great, but that alone was so good. That is one of my new go-tos, not even kidding. I am shooketh. Seriously, I'm just really surprised because that looked, mm, it's like my breakfast. It's the day of ugly meals. I'm going to see if I can make something super ugly for dinner. Anyway, catch up with you later. So I decided I want something sweet, something chocolatey. This is an RX bar. I love RX bars. Chocolate sea salt is this one. Chocolate coconut is my favorite so far. I found them at Costco. You can get them on Amazon. This is literally the only ingredients. Three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, and zero BS. The macros on this guy are amazing. It's 210 calories. It is 12 grams of protein. 12 grams, that's great in a little bar. Nine grams of fat, 23 grams of carbs. So it is a little carb heavy, but so clean, so delicious. Gonna have this. We're back. It is five o'clock and it's snack time. So I am having my favorite ice cream. This is Briar's Creamy Chocolate. Only 280 calories for the entire pint. That's pretty awesome. 70 calories per half cup. Four grams of protein, two grams of fats. This will be my afternoon snack. I usually have about half cup of it. And yeah, that's where we're at. All right, back after doing all of the things, it is 9.30 and this girl is hungry again. So I picked up a potato on the way home and an apple. Now the apple in the car. In the air fryer, homemade potato wedges. This thing, so it is set at 400, which I set it at for fries. I am going to put this avocado oil on that. Usually I mix it in a bowl with the spices, but I just, I'm too lazy right now. So anyway, I'm going to put this on there with some seasoning salt, salt and pepper, pop it in the air fryer for, let's see, maybe like 13 minutes, maybe even 12 minutes. I don't know. And then you just check it. You can totally open the air fryer mid cooking, check it out. And then I got a chicken souvlaki pita. I didn't feel like the cauliflower pizza and I wanted some veggies. So here's the photo of it. And it's just chicken, tomatoes, tzatziki, lettuce, cucumber, peppers, mushrooms, some olives, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, you know what I just noticed? The calories on this oil say three calories per third second of a spray. That's preposterous. Excuse me? Isn't that the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard? Uh, Who figured that out and how? And how are you gonna count a third second? Okay, well times three, this is like a million calories then, but whatever. All right, look at that. These are gonna be delicious. So, pop them in there. Gonna turn it to 13 minutes and then we'll keep checking. Okay, moment of truth. I think I had it on for 13 minutes. It's got one minute left. 
Oh yes, look at these wedges. These are done to perfection. 12 minutes in the air fryer. Just a plain potato, avocado oil, seasoning salt, salt and pepper. Yes. P.S. Hack for your vinegar. Pick up one of these from the dollar store. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's all she wrote. That was my full day of eating with nothing in the fridge. If you thought this video was helpful, entertaining, or informative at all, please hit that thumbs up button down there. That really does help support my channel. Please subscribe because subscribing really is where the support does come from and I appreciate any and all subscribers. Share this channel around because the videos on this channel can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. So check those out. If you would like notifications of the next time I post a new video, please hit that little bell notification icon and you will be sent a notification each time I upload. And I'm exhausted. I'm ready for bed. I might have a piece of organic chocolate that's in that pantry, but we'll see. So until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun trying to be creative and don't let all your pantry items stock up too much. Donate the things you don't need. And I will see you next time. Bye.